Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Brother Bill Winston's here with us again today. Listen, you still got time. Get, get in this, the 25 days of gifts. You receive a gift from glory in me that we want to sow into your life every day to Christmas. Praise the Lord. Now, these are, these are faith, uh, I started to say faith-based teachings from KCM. There ain't no such thing as any other kind of teaching from KCM. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, they, these are products of KCM that'll, that'll help, de- help you develop your faith. They're not just little, little trinkets and ideas and so forth. So, Father, we pray over this today, and we thank you, and we praise you for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Bill, get us back into okay. this thing quick. All right. Now, now <laughs> let, let's look at, 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 at this Acts chapter 14 first, if we right. go there. Acts chapter 14. Now, we're talking basically on moving from faith to faith. Look what he says in Acts chapter 14. Now, this is when Paul and his team are doing the preaching here. And verse 7, it says, And there they preached the gospel. Now, right there, we know that Paul said in Romans chapter 1 and verses 16 and 17, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, not only to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. All right. So Paul is preaching the gospel. Faith is coming. Now, here's a man, verse 8, and there sat a certain man of Ly- at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, stand up right on your feet. And he leaped and walked. Now, what am I saying? Many people have heard the word of God and have faith, but they're still sitting on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They haven't released that faith, given that faith an assignment. Do, do something with that faith. And, and Paul had to help this man out. And I think that's the grace of God, trying to help us to actualize that faith that is already in us that can move some mm-hmm. mountain in our mm-hmm. life. This man had never walked. So this thing had to be a creative miracle for this man, I believe, sure to, to, to create something so this man could walk here. So I'm just in this case saying, all right, what is faith? Faith is a substance and so forth and so on. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Yeah, he heard them preach the gospel. He heard them preach the and gospel. And he, he perceived he had, had faith, faith to be healed. He, he got it out of the gospel. That's he, where he got, got it through. out of the gospel. Yes, he did. But now Paul had to help this man actualize that faith. And it made a man who had never walked, walk, leap and walk. Now, this is the power of faith. And it might be somebody listening out there now that you, you've never done certain things. You've never got a good job. You've never so forth and so on. Now is the time to you work your faith. Excellent. Because faith now is not dependent on your background, your pedigree, what country you are in, what country you come from, so forth. Sometimes I go to other countries, oh, that, that worked for you, Pastor, because you, you are from America. From America? That, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible no. says over here in Acts chapter 10 and verse 34, then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth, he said, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness has the same access to his blessing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Richard. So I don't care what nation you're in, this right here is still available. Yes, it is. And you pull it down out of the spirit by, by faith. faith. No matter what by nation faith. you're in, no matter what they're going through, Glory to he God. chose to believe that. He did. He didn't, didn't he? just walk. That's, that's right. He leaped. Mm. 
He leaped. I'm telling you, he did, didn't he? if this thing don't work, I am flat <laughs> of my face. <laughs> he just, he just, he leaped. He up from where did, he was. didn't he? he flat did. So it's a choice here. See, when he asked those two lepers, "Do you believe that I'm able to do this?" They had a choice right there. Yeah, they did. Uh, uh, I don't believe that. Well, you can't doubt with faith. You doubt, the miracle goes out of it. You got to hold fast. You got to yeah. trust in God. So I had a scripture for us. It's found in Psalm chapter 62. And Psalm chapter 62, and look at verse 5. And it says, My soul wait thou only upon God. Now, I like when people put that only and underline it. Yes, sir. For my expectation is from Him. See, if God is not the source of your expectation, you're going to usually end up in frustration. May I point out something here? Yes, sir. He's talking to his soul. Mm. 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 He is. He's isn't he? telling his mind what to think. He is. You remember? You remember the hundred and third Psalm? Yes, sir. Bless the Lord, oh, oh my, my soul, soul and, and forget Lord, not all Lord, his benefits. benefits. He's telling his soul. He said, "My soul, is, wait." Thou only, only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is speaking to his soul. He is up against it. He's got a lot of pressure on him. He is saying, mine, you are thinking what I tell you to think. God is my rock and my salvation. I'm not going to the right hand or the left. I've got faith in God and I won't let it go. Bless God, I'm not turning loose of what I believe. And, 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 and expectation is only from God. It's like if God is not the only source, he, he just kind of takes his hand off and says, okay, well, I'm going to wait till you just play that thing out. And then if you look at it, he says this. He goes down and says in uh, 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 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 29, that no flesh can glory in my presence. Praise God. They we know no that's true. flesh can glory in my presence. So the idea about it is God does not want any flesh to get any credit for what he's doing for his people. Now I'm saying here in this particular case that no flesh, he's talking about God chooses the foolish things and so forth. Yeah, uh -huh. So God, it's like you, you're going to either trust in me because I am a jealous God. I don't want you to be giving anything else credit for what I'm doing here. But I want you to trust only in me. I want your expectation to be from me. So faith requires that not only God be our source, but he be our only source. Yes, sir. That he not only be our source, but he's our only source. So Sometimes he waits until we done this and done that. And I remember me, I'm pulling every whistle and every, every yeah, thing that yeah. I can know to do. Then I just went home. I said, Reverend, where's the money? And this was believing for them all. I went home and covered my head up. I went and got into bed and pulled the sheet over my head. I said, Lord, go take care of me. Monday, here comes a miracle. Lord have mercy. So I'm just saying, this this man, you said something. He made a choice. He to made do a that. choice. I was. Uh, this happened mm. before Gloria and I ever got in ministry. Mm -hmm. I had the flu. I was so sick, Bill. Mm. I, I just hurt. I was just all over. Mm. Well, Gloria asked me to drive her to the shopping center, and I did. Got over there, and I said, Gloria, go on in. What you're doing? I said, I I, I just can't do this. Well, I had my Bible in. And I, at that time, Bill, I, I didn't know the things we we're talking about, but the Lord, the Spirit of God specifically led me in this direction. I had my Bible open to 1 Peter 2, 24. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was laying right there on the passenger seat. And, uh, and I had it open there. <laughs> where it said, he bore yes. my sins yes. in his own body on the tree, on the tree. 
by whose stripes ye were healed. Oh, it was laying right here like this. I'd, I'd, been, I'd been reading that. Oh, Jesus, I, oh, I, I need your healing. I need this. And I'm sitting there and I, I thought, oh, there ain't no way I'm going to be able to drive home. I just, I'm too sick. Man. Now, I picked up my Bible. <sighs> Jesus I choose to believe this. By whose stripes ye were healed. This is before I ever heard any of the Hagen's tapes. This is before. I didn't know anything at this point. And when I said that, I could tell something happened. I'd made a choice. That's right. My soul, my yes. mind, my yes. will, and my emotions totally. have made a choice to yes. believe God. Yes. When I did, faith came. And I could tell it. I didn't know what happened. I learned that oh, later. But I could tell there's something happened here. Whoa. I said, oh, Lord, yeah, I choose to believe that. And, and my mind was saying, yeah, yeah, no. I said, no, 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 I chose to believe this. I, I've made my choice here. I believe this. By the time Gloria got back out of the car, I thought, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and drive home. We got home. She went in immediately and started fixing supper. And I thought, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and eat a little supper. I didn't feel like eating it all while I go down at the mall. I just wanted to come home and go to bed and try to die. I just was hurting so <laughs> bad. And, but and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing better here. The next morning, every symptom's gone. Now, what's the difference between I was sick the day before. I was been, I'd been sick for a couple of days when all of this uh, took place. What's the difference? I made a choice. You know, when you did that, <clears throat> you started a process. That's the whole point. A choice starts a process that if I swallow bread, I don't need to try to figure out where it is at this point. There's a process taking place. And it did it when you made the decision. decision to, yeah, this is, and I'm saying that when you do that. The belly that, juice started working on the lung juice, on the liver juice, and all that, blah, 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 all that thing. Why? Because it's getting ready to do its job. job. Your spirit, man. You, you, you've got. You, 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 can, I, can I be just a little crude here? Yeah, yeah, we're about yeah, out of yeah, time. yeah, yeah. You've got spiritual guts the same as you got physical, physical. guts. When you you feed on this th this food, Jesus said, "I have food." You little boys don't know anything. Goodness. About. When you feed on this, your spiritual in innards big starts working and start working on that food and sucking that faith mm. out of that uh, word uh, and sucking me. that healing out of that tell word me. and it starts working around in there. And if you let the devil mess with your mind, you can stop the process. That's that's exactly right. You, when you make that decision, you'll start seeing things in the Word of God that you never saw before in your life because the process is causing those things to be revealed. So don't, don't throw your confidence That's away. Right. Don't throw your faith away Man. and stop the process. Don't be that. <laughs> dumb, dumb, stay in there. <laughs> Forgive me. I, <laughs> I'm now, talking to myself. You understand? Now, now, now let's look at James. Look at James chapter 1. Now, this is what he's talking about in James chapter. That's exactly what the man is about to say. Here. Oh, all right. In James chapter one, let's start at verse two. My brother, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations, into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now that's the will of God. That's the will of God. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toss. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Praise God. Mm -mm. That is, there it is. Right it's, there. Right, it's right here. 
This, this, now this. we're talking about, we talked about this already two or three, four times. You go back over there to Mark 11, 22, 23, yeah, 24, yeah, 25. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, that, that, that's the overlay over everything. That's the yeah. way faith works. works. Now you take that and you lay that right up beside yeah. this. Yep. Yeah. And your faith servant in the 17th chapter of Luke. Goes out. He, he's, he's going after the wisdom. Well, See, don't the, pull him out of the field. The, what you did is you decided, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to receive what God yes, has done for me. And something started working. You follow what I'm the saying? Process the process, was, yeah. it started. See? Yeah. This friend, this uh, member of our church came to me and said, you know, my boss wants to know what can he do for for some of the uh, black uh, African-American youth in uh, Chicago, in the male youth in Chicago. And I said, well, uh, okay, what does he want? He said, well, he'd like to see you. And she said, what can he do for the young men, black men in Chicago, young boys, youth? And I said, well, I said, uh, okay, I'll go see him. So I went to see him and he and I talked and he was said he was in a meeting down with some CEOs and they asked him, what is he doing for Chicago for some of the, and he said, well, I didn't have any answer for him. He said, I went home and told my daughter, I told her what happened. She said, she's a lawyer. She said, well, what are you doing? He said, well, I, I thought about it. He said, and Reverend, this thing really kind of bothered me and so forth. He said, I'd like to, you to tell me, what, what can I do for the young uh, African-American youth in, in Chicago, the male youth? I said, uh, let me have seven days and I'll tell you exactly what to do. Just like that. Now, what was I doing? I was taking it by faith, see. Mm -hmm. I, that's because that's the only way you can get it. Mm -hmm. You got to take it by faith. His wisdom. I went back. God gave me what to do, gave me four uh, of about seven PowerPoint pages, and I just put it out there in big letters, and I went back to him, went through one page, went through the next page, went through the next, but got halfway through. The, that's it, Reverend. I've got $40,000 in the chairman's fund now. Can you start with that? I said, well, I have not set up a bank account, so forth and so on. Now, notice what happened here. First of all, I had to believe by faith that this answer was available for me. And when it got available for me was before the foundation of the oh, world. Yeah. I had to call that thing. See, I heard you teaching Absolutely. on this. You got to call it from the foundation of the world because that's where it was. At. This is eternal with God. This, this, every solution, every, every wisdom solution, for every problem we're having today has already been laid up. Can we make this just <laughs> as, <laughs> as simple as you can <laughs> get it? <sighs> I can't find my car keys. <laughs> Dear Lord. Gloria, I can't find my car keys. Have you seen them? I can't find my car keys. I can't find my car keys. Now, wait a minute. This says different. Now, the, well, God don't care nothing about my car. He gave me the car. I mean, this he, is, the, the, hey, exactly. this is important. Exactly. Now, in the first place, I didn't start out with faith in God. I'm saying I can't find my car keys. You're going to have to learn better than that. Yes, indeed. Don't hunt for three yes, days please. and then pray. Pray first. first. Go to this first. Yes. Go to faith first. And here's what God showed me yeah. uh, uh, about this kind of thing. And I don't care whether it's over something simple as your car keys. Or the situation I had. Or whatever. the situation you mm -hmm. had. Or whatever it is. Mm. Father, now, you know where my car keys are. My angels, my ministering spirit know where my car keys are. Consequently, since you're on the inside of me and your word says in Colossians chapter 1, 9, 10, and 11 that it is your will that I be filled uh, with, your, with wisdom and knowledge yes. of your will. Exactly. All that's in me. 
That's exactly now, right. I am asking you, sir, by faith, to get my car keys back into my hands. <clears throat> Ministering spirits, in the name of Jesus, you heard my prayer. Go get my car keys and get them in my hands. I need my car. And then quit staying. I can't find my car keys. Glory to God. I know God knows the angels know right where my car keys are. God knows the angels know what I'm going to have to do to save this business. God knows my angels know and the, and the kingdom of God knows what I'm going to have to do here to save this marriage that, that yes, God put me exactly in. I'm not right. turning this thing loose and, and so forth and so on. I don't care what it is. This is the process. And the answer had been laid up. Listen, here's what he said in Proverbs, in Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 6. <laughs> oh, yeah. For oh, the Lord the... giveth wisdom, yes, out of his does. mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Verse 7 of Proverbs chapter 2, he layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. <laughs> he is a buckler to them that walketh. He, he didn't hide it from us. He laid it up for us that we get it by faith. Absolutely. Now, let's, can we hit the last thing before, because we got to go into, because after faith, we're going to put that together with love. So let's go mm. to Mark chapter 11 again, and uh, mm. we'll close it out there. Mark chapter 11. So here's Jesus. He spoke to the fig tree and so forth, and we all have really, really talked about that, and we've preached a lot of this. But Here's what he says. This is Mark chapter 11, verse 22. And Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things that he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, just believe you receive them and you shall have them. And when you stay, stand praying, forgive. Mm -hmm. now that's the love of God. Yes, it is. Because faith works by love. And that's where we're going to start next time. No love. No faith. No faith. Big love. Big, big faith. faith. Because love, perfected love, Cast out fear. fear. All doubt is, is fear-based. Fear mm, mm, mm. In fact, it's fear-dependent. It you is. You get fear rid of the fear. That's exactly. Now that's true, isn't it? It is. Not. That's true. You We're get. Out of time. Well, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> hey, man. Hallelujah, Bill. And I'll be back in just a minute. We hope you enjoyed this teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes.